Welcome back students. Hope you all are taking your external examination in a well-mannered way. Upon the request of many students, I have come up with one more uh, course related to electronic devices and circuits, EDC, which is a common course for all branches of engineering under JNTU H for R22 regulation. Dear students, I hope you all are watching my video lectures on engineering graphics too if you have supplementary or the students who are taking the regular course on computer aided engineering graphics, please do refer my channel so that it may benefit them. Up in the playlist, you can go through it and you will be getting all the important questions of all the courses of all the years as well as computer aided engineering graphics, a series of video lectures were uploaded in my channel. The first and the foremost gunshot question I can give you from the unit one is all about the static versus dynamic resistance. It may be the direct gunshot question which may occur in 2A as well as 2B as you all are aware that the first question is from A to J which is of one mark. Do not skip any part of the video which I am where I am going to highlight for you the first short as well as the long question. Explain that as a switch is also shared the short question. Switching times may be also the short question this time. Later we are looking at the 3A as well as 3B dear students. The third question may be diffusion versus transition capacitance along with its neat sketch as well as the circuit diagrams to be worked out very neatly and the VI characteristics whichever the unit you are going to perform and wherever I'm putting the highlighted mark you are supposed to work out each and every parameter without skipping a single concept along with the problems I hope you have gone through the video on how to take a theory paper in the end examination as well as a mathematical paper a video is being posted in my channel please go through it and work out accordingly by using two set of pens and the neat diagrams to be drawn only in pencil dear students hope you are following it if you have and subscribe to my channel please do it immediately where i'm going to upload few more things and concepts related to engineering in the coming days to go the second unit is all about the rectifieds here we'll be getting about the full or have the half wave rectifier or you are supposed to work out the full wave versus the half wave rectifier if it is a difference among the two parameters you need to work out the tabular column using a pencil and you need to write the full wave rectifier to the left and the half wave rectifier to the right and write only in bulletin points or all the time that may be the theory question later the clippers and the clamping operators and the theorem regarding the clamping is set to be the topmost question and the number here is 4a b dear students do not expect direct 10 mark it is a combination of 5 5 split all the time and the clippers may be the short question bridge rectifier may be occurring in 5 a b dear students all the rectifier diagrams to be worked out only in pencil types of clampers along with its diagrams is also set to be the topmost question rectifies related to capacitive or the inductive filters may be the short or the long question this time which may occur in 5a as well as 5b as i was repeatedly telling you all in the earlier subject video also you are not supposed to skip any part of the unit whichever you are working out it's because two short questions where you are going to get two marks and the long question that is of 10 mark a total of 12 marks you are going to work out dear students i am going to highlight few important units for an average student to work out please do not skip my video please do watch it till the end and wherever i'm highlighting please do concentrate on each and every parameter the later the unit 3 is all about this transistor as a switch an average student need to work out the unit 3 for sure here dear students and there is no continuity in working out one unit after the other unit you are supposed to work out the unit 1 first later unit 3 if you are looking to just pass later cc or cb and cc configurations out of these three you may be getting the short or the long question this time in the question number 6a as well as 6b later the bjt is set to be the topmost question and gunshot which i can give you for both all the branches of engineering along with its diagram working principle and the operation which may occur in 7a as well as 7b and they may be asking the bjt applications in the short question and the switching times may be also the short question this time dear students do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well as share this video to your friends too later a student looking to pass can go even with after one three 
and the fourth unit is also very easy and very important for you there is a bit of continuity in these two units so if you're working with the third unit please do concentrate even on the fourth unit also bjt versus fet is the difference is said to be the topmost question or individually they may be asking in the short question fet as voltage variable resistor and va characteristics i mean voltage and current or ampere characteristics set to be the topmost question this time in the question paper in form of 8ab i have even uploaded a video on how to write a short question of one mark in your end examination was a video posted in my channel please go through it and you are supposed to score out of out mark whichever the unit you are working out FET, the construction and the working principle along with its needs, sketch is set with the topmost question in the question number 9A or the 9B this time and wherever the problems are there, you are supposed to work out even the problems also dear students, MOSFET and MOSFET, their difference or individually we will be asking in the short question or the long question, I have not highlighted any short question here. It means you are supposed to work out the complete part of the unit so that you could able to work out in the end examination the short answer as well as the long answer. Please try to work out as per the concept. Do not just mug up in bits and pieces here and there by picking certain topics from certain units. You should be thorough with each and every concept whichever you are studying so that you will be becoming a better engineer by the end of your engineering pinch of voltage may be the short question this time for one mark this is said to be the fourth unit the question number eight as well as nine later have come even with the fifth unit also for the students who want to score good marks and the grading so that they need to work out SCR the working principle and the diagram is said with the topmost question which may occur in 10 AB tunnel versus photo photo diode out of all the diodes they may be asking the difference or they may be asking you uh, the theory part question or the short questions of all the diodes of the unit 4 Zener diode along with the characteristics as voltage regular is said to be the topmost and gun short question this time in 10a as well as 10b later coming to the solar cell that may be the short question or the long question 11ab and about the led also you need to work out and scotty diode as well as work door diode is said to be short short as well as long question and ujt is also said to be the short or long question this time these all are said to be the topmost and gun short questions as well as whichever the unit i have highlighted here is nothing but for person to score or just a pass as you have taken into consideration every unit if you have be perfect this is of 36 mark whereas in the gnq you are supposed to get 21 mark to clear in the external examination isn't it dear students this is very easy to score 21 marks if you're thorough and perfect with all the concepts which are highlighted in the paper so that you need to check whether you are going to clear this subject first by working out at least a minimum of three units if you have a confident in getting 21 mark or 30 mark please jump into the next unit and do not read in bits and pieces picking from every unit's only half part I mean few students with static and dynamic resistance from here and switching times from here and later they jump to the second unit and they read full or half rectifier and later they talk about the clampers whereas by unexpectedly there may be the question which you did not work out the bridge rectifier may occur in the question paper there you may be losing work or vi characteristics or transition capacitance may occur from unit one so that you could not able to work out I mean, you are supposed to work out the entire topic wherever highlighting and you need to work out as per the syllabus copy and as per the lecture notes given by your faculty and do refer only the textbook, not the all-in-ones or certain material. Please do work out the textbook so that you will be gaining lots of knowledge in whichever the course you have taken. Hope you are going to do well by performing all these questions. And this is your Chandrasekhar Uttukuri signing off now. Good luck and God bless you all dear students. Thank you.